All right, so hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. I have uh, another unboxing video for you guys I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do today. This one's going to be on the Vantac Speeder. It's another another new ballast song coming out of Asia, at China, I believe. But uh, yeah, let's get this going. Just like last time, I'm going to use the Boker Pelican here today to do the, do the honors. That's cool. Never seen that before. Looks weird. The last time I did the uh, unboxing video was a one take, and I liked how that one went. So I'm gonna do the do it the same way for this one. What's this we got another Kydex sheath. This one comes with also. Get this out of here. Let's get everything laid out. We've got a trainer blade. This also comes with a set of brass spacers if you wanted to add some more handle bias. A full set of extra hardware. I will say that is one thing I do like about these Asian Asian knife makers is holding aside the quality of the hardware, which I haven't ever really had too much issues with. I always tend to find that it's a it's the drivers you use that tend to be more of an issue than the hardware itself. I mean, if a person is just careful and patient, I don't see why there should ever be any strip screws. If you need to use some heat, use some heat. That's your best friend when when things are Loctited. But I've never had any issues with hardware and I don't know what the what it would be like if you had to get some more hardware, but you get a whole set here anyway. So you'd have to burn through the ones that are on the knife and the, the extra set you get in order to then need some more hardware after that, so. I've never had any issues. I don't I don't see how a person really could. But I was pretty excited for these two. They come in four different handle finishes. There's a blue anodized version which comes with just raw tie or looks like bead blasted tie spacers. There's a bead blasted handle version you can get that that one has blue anodized spacers and then there's a stone wash handle version and that one's just also got uh, stone wash spacers, I think, and then a green anodized handle version with which also has bead blasted spacers. Now, just like last time, I'm going to let's see if I can get I'm making a mess here. As always, I'm going to take the latch off just because I really, really don't like latches. Looks like you've got, what is that, one of those weird, like, threaded latches where you can, like, adjust the, the latch tension. I mean, if you like latches, I guess it's a cool feature, but I know for myself... I like to flip latchless. I just like the, I like the lack of noise. I, I don't like having that little bit of extra weight rattling around. I mean, even for a carry, I have a hat and leather sheath. I have that Max Ace Pelican in here right now. I'm just trying to get that carried and flipped for a few days before I uh, make a full video on that. But I usually carry in this hat and leather sheath and I don't need a latch and if I do throw a bally in my pocket it's usually like handles down and I never never have any issues but let's get this latch off here so we can keep this moving along. Let's see is that latch pin coming out? Yeah we'll get that out. Fuck it. Alright that looks good to go. 
Body screws are T8. Everything feels, the threads feel nice and smooth. Now I went with the blue anodized handles. One thing I, I saw that when, when this was coming out, the handles looked pretty round and didn't look too thick, which that was the only thing that really worried me, but it looks they, it looked like they have about the same profile as like like an infinity, just a little bit thinner. And I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to spend a little time flipping this before I can really give you any any impression, any solid impression. But just like the Pelican, what I'll do is is I'll wait till I've had this for a good few days, a couple days, and then and then I'll make, you know, like a full flipping review video once I've got a solid impression. It looks like these are serialized. Mine is 144 out of 200. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's 200 for the entire run, all colors included, like not just 200 blue ones, that's 200 total. So that would mean 50 blue ones, but it feels, uh, feels pretty smooth. I'll tell you, out of the box, this feels smoother than the, than the Pelican I just unboxed. What was that two days ago, three days ago? But I will also say that that was that that's channel handles and bearings, and I've since gotten that tuned and and broken into where it's butter smooth. But out of the box, it was a little a little rough and gritty, and that Pelican did take some did take some coercion, let's say, to to get it to be buttery smooth. But this feels uh this is feeling pretty good. It's gonna need a little. Just a little bit of tuning, which I'll get to later. But overall, this is butter smooth. Looks like our handle finish. It's got just a hint of purple if you catch it at the right light. Everything is nice and even. Nice and consistent color. It's a big heavy coating of oil on this blade. Hold on one second. which taking the trip overseas that it did packed away in some shipping container however which way it was packed I would rather much rather it be oiled than not but these do have M390 blade steel and that is one thing I will say I will also say about these Asian uh, Asian ballast song makers is you're typically getting premium blade steels. I mean, this is M3, you're getting M390. I mean, not that I do too much heavy utility cutting with my butterfly knives anyway. They're typically, I like them more just for, for flipping them. But M390, that's, that's, that's like really premium blade steel. And that Pelican was M392. And what I see a lot of times is most of the time, USA made ballast songs. I mean, I have so many that are 154 CM, CPM 154 blade steel. I, I aside, I, I have a 6X that's sitting right over there that's D2. But other than that, I think everything else there is, I'm looking at right now, is either CPM 154 or 154 CM. I mean, probably not all of it, but you get what I'm saying. Cage ceramic bearings. I know a lot of people hate on bearings, but I have absolutely no issue with bearings whatsoever. I just, my 6X, it's a V1 fly tie 63 that I just got maybe two weeks ago. And a day after I got it, I took it and I sent it out to Ben Parley to have him install. He does like IKBS style bearings he'll install for you if you want. And I had him do that. And let me tell you, I am seriously impressed with that knife because it is butter smooth with literally zero play zero rub zero tap but what i'm getting at is i really like bearings i don't know why people don't like bearings but shit more for me i mean i like the profile of this knife the handle pattern, yeah, it. I mean, there's nothing too uh, extravagant about it, but from what I'm feeling right now, it offers good grip. I can. It feels like it's going to flip pretty well. 
The handles may be just a tad thin like like this way, but we'll see once uh once we get once we see how she flips and it, you know, off camera. Do these unboxing videos. I like to just do the unboxing video, give you guys some information, and then I'll do like a comprehensive review, flipping review later on. Now on the, the sales listing on DHgate, I bought mine directly from them through Instagram. I just PayPal'd them and and got mine directly that way as soon as they were done, but they are listed on DHgate. They have it listed at 145 millimeters for length on the handles and they're 3.5 millimeters thick, but we'll, uh, I've got a regular like inches ruler here, so we'll just see what that says. It is like an eighth of inch, an eighth an inch over 10 inches. So where are the handles at on that? Like just a bit over 10 inches. Looks like five and a half on the handles and four and a half on the blade. No observable play whatsoever. I do like the profile of the handles. They feel really good so far. We'll see how it flips. They do feel like they'd be a little thin. Like I don't know about twirls and, and chaps how this is going to feel here because this is a little thin and there is those like the tank cups so but the horns are pretty they're pretty low there's a good nice chamfer on the spine it's not crowned it's got a nice good chamfer on there if you can see it and typically on ballys that have this tang shape just like this you know diamond tang shape I usually don't ever have any pinching issues on, on that tang shape. That's my favorite tang shape. So I don't think we'll have any issues, but we'll see. And I will definitely make another video and let you guys know how this is because next on the lineup, I've got the full, the full review video I'm going to do for the Pelican. That should be in a couple days, but I just got this today and I wanted to show you guys it, show you guys the the unboxing video oh before I uh before I take off for the night let's uh it has it listed on the on the website as 138 grams but again we'll see now again my scale is only goes in fractions of ounces so with no latch four and three quarter ounces which which is uh not too bad like four and a half to five ounces, that's like right where I like it with just a little bit of handle bias, but I'm gonna let you know how the balance is with stock spacers, and then I'm gonna try the, the brass spacers and see how those feel too. So when I come back with the review video for this, for you guys, I'll have all that, all that information, all that good stuff ready to go. But otherwise, as always, thanks for watching guys. Have a great rest of your night. All right, peace.